Hello guys, it's Marek here and in this Photoshop tutorial I want to show you a quick way of applying shadows and highlights as an adjustment layer. Now, I'm sure you've been using adjustment layers for years. I remember when they appeared, when well, the adjustments panel appeared in Photoshop CS4, but we had adjustment layers in CS3 in here. Okay. And there's lots of adjustments layer in here. I'm not going to explain what adjustments layers are. If you haven't used them, just one quick info. When you apply an adjustment layer using the adjustments panel, it becomes a non-destructive adjustment layer and appears on its own. However, one of the things we've been missing from here are shadows and highlights. Okay? You normally find them here, image, adjustments, shadows and highlights, and it's a really interesting adjustment. Obviously not like that. I've seen so many people telling me that they try to use shadows and highlights, but when it opens like that, they look at it, well, it looks a bit better, but just the sliders, that's very limiting. And what I do is they cancel and they never use it again. And I'm explaining in detail shadows and highlights in in my Photoshop book that's coming out soon. Uh, more information on my website, marekmulacic.com or on my blog, photoshoplightroombridge.co.uk as well. So, with the more options checked in here, there's so many options and you can make your image really, really, really better. But what we're missing here is, if I just click OK, let's say, is the adjustment being applied to the background layer, to the image of the layer. So what I was looking for is, was a way to apply it as an adjustment layer. A separate layer that could be re-edited, re-adjusted, and so it doesn't alter the original pixels. So here's what you can do. What you do is, you because the, the, here's a, uh, shadows and highlights is not in here. So what you do is you convert a layer with the image to a smart object. And you can do it a number of ways. You could right click on it, convert to smart object. Okay. That's another way, one way. So now the image becomes a smart object in here. We can see by this icon that it's a smart object. Okay. Let me just close that. Okay. Uh, here we go. And now we'll go to image, adjustments. All the adjustments are grayed out. Okay, because it adjust, it's, it's a smart object. But shadows and highlights are available here. So I'll click shadows and highlights. I'm going to adjust it. Well, I'm going to, let's say, with the shadows, I'm going to keep the amount quite low. I'll keep the tonal width quite narrow. And I'll increase the radius a bit. Yeah, you can see it here. With the highlights, I'm going to keep them as they are, and I'll just click OK for now. And now, this becomes kind of like a smart filter. It's a smart filter, but this is shadows and highlights adjustment. This is not a filter. You won't find shadows and highlights anywhere on the filter menu. And, because it looks like a layer effect, like a layer now, you can double-click on it to reopen it and re-edit it. And Photoshop remembers all your settings in here. Now this is an amazing way of applying shadows and highlights as an adjustment layer in Photoshop. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching that. I'm Marek from MarekMulacci.com.